Burmese star tortoise is a critically endangered species of tortoise that's endemic uh, to the central dry zone in Myanmar. It's this desert-like region in the very center of the country. And when we say they're endemic, we mean they're found nowhere else in the world. They're also a very pretty tortoise and they caught the, the eye of tortoise collectors and people started paying a lot of money for them. There were very few in captivity and so uh, people started going into the wild and collecting them, basically just collected them out, uh, drove them to near extinction. Uh, the first thing that Wildlife Conservation Society and the Turtle Survival Alliance did is we conducted a number of surveys in the late 1990s and identified the problem because these animals were going extinct in the wild um, and we didn't even realize that was taking place. So once we realized that there was a crisis on hand, we began to assemble animals. We ended up with about 175 tortoises that had been confiscated. That was our founder stock. Um, and then we began to breed them. Uh, we now have in excess of, of 14,000 of them in captivity. So we've gone from 175, a uh, global population of 175, up to now over 14,000 uh, tortoises. Our ultimate objective is to have about 100,000 star tortoises in the wild. To restore viable populations in every protected area within the dry zone. And so we've, we've uh, started at one. Uh, one protected area, we, a small protected area. We figured out how to do this, how to get them actually in the wild, successfully living in the wild. We recently branched out into a, into a second protected area, and we've got our eyes on a third, much larger protected area. Uh, this has really been a joint uh, venture between Wildlife Conservation Society, Turtle Survival Alliance, and also the, uh, the Myanmar Forest Department. Uh, the Bronx Zoo played a pivotal role in the, uh, in the project. Um, for one thing, they were, you know, uh, early on, the, the herpetologists there, we didn't really know how to breed these tortoises in captivity, so we had to rely on expertise from the staff here at the reptile house. We had both the reptile house here and also the wildlife health program uh, were, were uh, uh, players in the game all along. There is a parallel between the situation with the star tortoise and the situation with the American bison a hundred years ago. Uh, probably the most abundant land mammal in North America. It was driven to near extinction. It was bred in captivity and then those animals were eventually taken back into protected areas in the American West where now they're, they're quite common. We often talk about in the, in the conservation business of the importance of captive breeding and the role of zoos in, in conservation. And I think this is a really good example Example where we've had the field people, the zoo people, the health people, everybody's been involved in this effort, uh, a very successful effort to bring the star tortoise back from the edge of extinction.